according to 2022, 121st in the Times University Guide, 116th in the Guardian University Guide, and 351st in the QS World Rankings. Brunel University, Brunel University recently climbed to 33rd among UK universities for research power. Hello, my friends. Today we will have virtual trip to this university. Welcome to Brunel University. So guys, actually Brunel University is named after this person. As you see the statue of Isambard Kingdom Brunel. He was a famous, one of the famous engineers in the UK. Brunel University is based in Oxbridge on the western part of London. So now we will see Brunel Business School. Let's go. I'll show the building. This building is called Mary C. Soul or Sickle, I don't know. So we will see now. This one is for health science. We will explore this building too. We need, we need student card. Do you have student card? You don't have? Give me. So I'm asking student card. Okay. Hello. Why? We couldn't open the building because <laughs> we have green button. <laughs> Actually, not with the card, we should open with green button. So let's go. So now we are in a Russell building. This building is for foundation and pre-master courses. Like overseas students can come and study the foundation classes. There are some language courses as well. And as well for pre-masters. So uh, like look at the sky. It's spring. It's spring. Last day of March, but it's snowing. I, I don't I don't understand UK best actually. Let's go. I know most of you are interested in sport and now we will see this sports center building. Let's go. So this building is lecture center. So students mainly have lectures there. Yeah, all lectures in the in one building. This is super and very comfortable. Let's go. This is usually how lecture halls look like. So as you say, it's quite
quite small compared to other lecture halls. For example, in my university, lecture halls are really big, I mean huge, and there are 100 and 200 students can, can study. And now I have two more buildings to show you. Both of them are really interesting. The one is a recreational place, like a student house, where students can go play and just enjoy or have something to eat. And the second one is library. Let's go. As you say, we are in student center. It's really interesting for me to see student center because this is the main and the most important building for me if I want to go to somewhere to study. First of all, I check student center. What kind of facilities does the university offer in student center? Let's check. Hey guys, can you remember it was snowing like 15 minutes ago and now sunshine! And the last journey is to the library. I'm really excited to see the library. Let's see. So now I will ask the uh, students their opinion about university. Hey guys, Hello. can I bother you for one yeah, minute? Okay. So, so sorry. I just want to ask about university. I'm, ask, I'm, I'm getting an interview from international student. I think you are international student, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's your name and where are you from? My name is Noor and I'm from Tanzania. Okay, how about you? My name is Irina and I'm from Russia. Russia, nice to meet you guys. Can you come here and just, yeah. Well, um... So, uh, you are you're doing your bachelor's or master's? Yeah, I'm on my final year of my um, bachelor's, bachelor's international business. Okay, how about you? Me, me, we are in the classmate. So. Okay, nice to meet you guys. I'm Orzabu. I'm, I'm a student of Bristol University. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. So, I'm making a video about uh, University of Bristol. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm making a video about University of Brunel. Okay. Yeah, there are some questions I want to ask. Well, why? Brunel, why did you choose Brunel? Okay, um, first of all, Brunel has very well advertised itself back in my country um, to start with. But otherwise, I think uh, we've had lots of friends from my country come here to study. Okay. And it's pretty diverse uh, if you look at it. Uh, you have people from many different nations coming to this uh, place here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're from Russia, right? Why did you choose Br Brunel? Some of my friends, they were studying here and they advertised me this university and they said there's too many students that I can like learn new culture, new. Yeah. so it, that's okay. why I came here. So yeah, you are both come here through, your, through the suggestions of your friends. Okay, next question. How did you find the uni? How do I find? I, I, I like the uni. Um, four years from foundation to year three. Has okay. been a great experience, even though COVID came in between and yeah, we, yeah, could, yeah. we couldn't really have most of it. But to be honest, I really like it. And 
if you was about suggesting to other people, I would definitely say it's the best place to yes, be here right, in London. Yeah. Okay. yeah How about you? <laughs> I'm agree with. You. Okay, tell me, tell me one thing, like the best thing that you like about uni. I'm, I think it's international students because I love to new new culture, new people, and we have always party and like this oh, kind of thing. So, yeah. okay. very well. So, and the last question. Tell me one thing that you don't like the, about uni. Just to tell the truth. Okay. Um, I believe uh, there are just a little bit of things, like a very few things that are, are problematic here. Uh, one being that uh, we have a few um, lecturers, just a very few of them, which are PhD students, and some have problems with uh, language and stuff like that. So it's a little bit hard to pass the message to us. But otherwise, um, that's just a minority majority has been perfect in terms of lectures and so on and so forth yeah. Okay. yeah so Zarina what would you like to see here like yeah what would you like to see that uh, like did you get the question yeah like okay. some changes I yeah, think change. just maybe our people are like to speak in their own language mm -hmm. so I'd like to like some respect from people when you are international to speak their own like only English <laughs> oh Oh. I mean, you know, when you are in university, it's better that everyone speak English because we are in the UK and in yeah, yeah. university in England. So it's better to speak everyone their language, like okay. English. Thank you so much, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Bye. Thank you. Hiya. Hiya. Sorry for bothering. Hello. My name is Orza. I'm making a video about Brunel University. And I, know, I just want to know uh, your opinions about uni. Uh, your name. Please um, I I am Kondogor Afibul Islam. Uh, you can call me Afif. Okay. Uh, I'm a first year student at Brunel Pathway College, okay. and I'm studying computer science and artificial intelligence here. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, so well, think, uh, yeah. uh, I've been here. Can for... Can we come here, like, yeah, sure. if people want to buy something? Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Okay. So, uh, how did you find the uni? Uh, well, in general, the university and the people, they're really nice. Uh, I've been here for like uh, two months only. Oh, so like I can give you a, yeah, I can give you a like overall opinion until yeah. my course is completed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so far I've been here. I think like uh, the university is great. The, the location and everything is great. Uh, uh, it's like the best place in London to be honest if you're talking about the London unis yeah. uh, but like one thing I have some complaint about okay. is the quality of the teachers in the Pathway College and oh, wait a minute just before you continue where is that pathway where is that pathway before continuing uh, okay like Brunel University uh, like uh, the t students whose degrees are not equivalent to the UK uh, how should I put it like uh, the UK educational qualification they start uh, they okay. first study in the pathway college yeah. then they are promoted to the university the wow. real Brunel University so I'm a first-year student at pathway college and the pathway uh, building is uh, called the Russell building it's in front oh, of the uni yeah uh, yeah that's it. okay yeah you were complaining uh, no 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 uh, uh, I have been in Bangladesh, I'm from Bangladesh, and so far I've been in like, uh, I've been taught by really amazing teachers, mm -hmm. and like, uh, I expected a lot from the uni, to be honest. So it didn't meet your expectations? Uh, it's not like that, it's, uh, it's not like it's bad, but uh, like, uh, my expectations were a bit too high, I don't know, like, uh, I've been, I haven't been to any other university, so I can tell. But like uh, you should visit Br Bristol University. <laughs> uh, I I would like to yeah. obviously, uh, but yeah. So far, uh, the uni is great. There are some of the teachers; they're amazing. Like for example, Armin Kashefi, mm -hmm. who is the departmental head. I have a good relationship with him, and I think he's one of the most amazing person and a genius. And but there are like in every university, all the teachers are not same. Yeah. So yeah. there are uh, two or three teachers uh, who I'm not like totally satisfied with. Oh. Uh, maybe like uh, it's the case in all the universities. Maybe I'm over complaining. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But okay. yeah, if if I'm talking about like uh, the other stuffs apart mm -hmm. from the quality of the teachers, mm -hmm. then Brunel is the best place to be in London. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Afif. Yeah, that's my pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. 
Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Mohammad Rizwan Rashid. Uh, okay. I study at computer science in this university. And uh, well, it's, a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good place. And I should suggest every Uzbek people to come here and further educate themselves here. Okay. My first question, uh, how did you find overall university? Like, um, according to academic sides or you can say, are there like... Some, yeah, uh, actually, uh, this university is one of the oldest universities in the UK, and it's already situated very close by London. It's in West London, mm -hmm. so uh, like accommodation and other things are very easier here. And uh, if you can go around and see the outside of the university, it's, it's in a very nice place. And uh, people of all over the world are coming to these universities. People like me from Bangladesh, from Pakistan, from India from Nigeria and so on. Yeah. People are all over the world you can see here. So and people, I think all of the people are enjoying very much mm -hmm. because uh, the place offers a lot of uh, outdoor activities. There are, uh, there are athletics mm -hmm. and uh, there are people that are playing football or cricket or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So as far as I know, it's a very good place to uh, f educate yourself for your graduation or post graduate yourself too okay, okay. Um, so tell me one thing that you don't like about the uni if there are if there is some or if there are some <laughs> actually uh, there isn't that much of a bad thing here but uh, one thing that I can say that uh, everything is perfect <laughs> yeah it's almost perfect nothing is perfect in this world <gasps> What can I say? Actually, it's a very tough question for me because okay, okay. Uh, because so, yeah. I'm a new student here. Yeah. But uh, I think one thing would be that if you are living uh, far away, yeah. so like you live in East London or Essex, yeah. it's gonna take some time to come here yeah. because on the peak hour is very tough for the traffic, and that's the only thing that that is happening bad for these universities. Yeah. Uh, like one time when I was studying, uh, staying at my cousin's home. Uh, I had to like drive for four hours to come here, okay. so that's only the downside of here, nothing else. Well, yeah, overall you would recommend others to come yeah, here, obviously, right? Obviously, obviously, it's ranked very high in UK, UK university list, and uh, do you know that Usain Bolt, the ultimate athlete of mm -hmm. this generation, used to have his uh, exercise here in this university athletics gym, so Overall, this is a very good place to visit and further your education. That's Thank it. you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. So, my dear friends, that was all I could film about Brunel University. Even though the attitudes of the staff were sometimes a little bit rude, I really liked the international environment of the university. If you need any information about the course the university offers, you can check their website. I hope you found this video useful and please leave the name of the university in the comments that you would like me to film about. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'm very active on social media. You can follow my Instagram, Facebook and Telegram channel and of course LinkedIn. See you soon!